This video covers the unit circle, creating, memorizing, and using it. The equation for the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. The radius of the unit circle is 1 unit. Knowing that the radius is 1 can help us fill in the points on the axes. For the positive x-axis, the xy point is 1, 0. For the positive y-axis, the point on the circle is 0, 1. For the negative x-axis, the circle intersects at negative 1, 0 and the circle intersects the negative y-axis at 0, negative 1. Now let's fill in our radian values for each angle. For the positive x-axis, the initial side, our radian value is 0. On the negative x-axis, our radian value is pi. Halfway between 0 and pi is known as pi halves. One half more than pi is 3 pi halves, and a full circle is 2 pi. 2 pi and 0 are coterminal angles because they share the same terminal side. Let's take a closer look at the first quadrant. This right here is pi over 6. Halfway between 0 and pi halves is pi over 4. And this angle is pi over 3. All the xy points, except the ones on the axes, have a denominator of 2. So we can fill that in right now. I think the easiest one to remember is that pi fourths has the same x and y value, that would be root 2 over 2. Now at pi 6 and pi thirds, our x is 1 half, and our y is root 3 over 2, or our x is root 3 over 2, and our y is 1 half. So we need to figure that out. If you can't remember which is which, go ahead and build a reference triangle. Its base would represent the x value, and the height would represent the y value. It's clear that the base is longer than the height. Root 3 over 2 is greater than 1 half, so our base of this triangle, or the x value at this point, will be root 3 over 2, and the y value will be 1 half. Now for pi thirds, we just need to flip those. The x value is 1 half, and the y value is root 3 over 2. We can build the rest of the unit circle just from knowing the first quadrant, and remembering the signs of the x and y in each of the other quadrants. Take pi over 6 for example. Pi over 6 is also 6 pi over 6, so if I added pi to pi over 6, I would get 7 pi over 6. The point here in quadrant 3, the x is negative, the y is negative. So we use the same values as in the point for pi over 6, but we make them both negative. 1 pi over 6 less than pi would be 5 pi over 6. The point here has a negative x value and a positive y value. Pi away from that would be 11 pi over 6. Our x is positive this time and our y is negative. For pi over 4, if we add pi, we get 5 pi over 4. Our point here has a negative x and a negative y. Pi over 4 less than pi would be 3 pi over 4. And pi added to 3 pi over 4 is 7 pi over 4 pi thirds plus 3 pi over 3 is 4 pi over 3. And that point is negative in quadrant 3. 1 pi third less than pi is going to give you 2 pi thirds. 1 pi more than 2 pi thirds will be 5 pi thirds. Look at that. We filled in all the xy points. But it's also really helpful to know what tangent is. Tangent of theta is not the x or the y, it's y divided by x. So for each of these x, y points, let's take the y value and divide the x value and fill that in. For pi over 6, 1 half divided by root 3 over 2 is equal to 1 over root 3 and will rationalize to be root 3 over 3. So at pi over 6, the tangent value is root 3 over 3. At pi over 4, we're going to divide root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2 and you get 1. So tangent of pi fourths is 1. At pi thirds, root 3 over 2 divided by 1 half is root 3. So tangent of pi thirds is root 3. And the beautiful thing is we can fill in the rest of the values by looking at these three tangent values and then looking at the signs of x and y in each quadrant. Let's also not forget to fill in the tangent values on the axes. At the angle 0, 0 divided by 1 is 0. At the angle pi, 0 divided by negative 1 is also 0. But at pi halves, we're taking 1 and dividing 0. 
That is undefined. Also, at 3 pi halves, you're dividing by 0, which makes tangent of that angle undefined. Now you've completed the x, y, and y over x values for the unit circle. Let's try using the unit circle to help us find certain trigonometric values. Sine of theta is equal to y over r, but since our radius is 1, then sine of theta equals y on the unit circle. Sine of pi over 6 would be the y value at pi over 6, which we can see is 1 half. So sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. At 0, the y value is 0. So sine of 0 is 0. At 0, the x value is 1. At pi halves, the y value is 1. And at pi halves, the x value is 0. Sine of pi would be the y value at pi. That would be 0. Tangent of pi is that blue value that we figured out, y over x, which is 0. Sine of 3 pi halves is the y value at 3 pi halves, which is negative 1. Cosine would be the x value at 3 pi halves, 0. To figure out where a negative angle is, instead of going counterclockwise to figure out your angles, you're going to now go clockwise. So to go pi radians in a clockwise direction is actually going to be the same as pi. It's coterminal to pi. And the x value there is negative 1. Negative pi halves will be pi halves in the clockwise direction. That is equal to 3 pi halves, or coterminal to 3 pi halves. So here, the tangent value of 3 pi halves, y over x, is undefined.